What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here with Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 6,000 subs, guys. I am almost there, only like 100 away. So I would really appreciate it if you went and told your friends and family to hit that subscribe button for me and help me reach my goals for this month. But I've been posting a lot of content lately every monday wednesday friday i've been putting a video up on youtube so make sure to go to my youtube channel and check out some of my other videos and also stay tuned for more videos guys because i'm going to be posting a ton of content this year so stay tuned but i've been getting a lot of questions lately about my truck i think i made a video maybe a month month and a half ago maybe two months um, where I was getting everything for my truck. I, I've been planning on building up my truck for the past couple of years. I bought the truck probably like three, four years ago. So I've had it for a little while and I've had huge plans for it to lift it up and just make it look super nice. And I finally did it guys. So I'm really excited to show you the whole truck. Like I said, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about it, wanting me to make a video going over the whole truck everything i did to it and i've been putting a lot of work into it guys and i really like the way it turned out i might even go bigger i don't even know yet due to the fact that my twin brother has a super nice truck i'm going to leave a picture right here of my twin brother's truck hunter and that truck is badass guys we actually just went down to tennessee to rod around a big truck show so that was pretty cool it got me all geeked up to make a video about my truck and and maybe get it bigger guys but i really like how it looks right now and it tows the boat really good when i'm fishing so um, i'm just gonna go over the whole truck in today's video so hopefully you guys like it and stay tuned guys because my truck is pretty cool hopefully you guys enjoy it so guys starting off my truck is a 2013 gmc sierra 1500 and it is a clean truck guys i bought it from the dealership with like 80,000 miles on it and i think it's got like 130,000 miles now i travel all over the place with this truck i've been down to florida i think two or three times down to alabama i went all the way to minnesota bemidji minnesota all with this truck guys but i just decided to lift it up like a month ago so it hasn't traveled a lot with it being lifted but I'm going to show you everything about it, do a quick walkthrough of the whole truck. I'm going to go over everything, so let's get right into it, guys. So, guys, I'm going to do a quick 360 view of the whole truck so you guys can see every angle of the truck, and then I'm going to get further into detail about the wheels and tires and everything and lift kit. So, here we go, guys, going to do the 360 walk around. So, there is the truck, guys. It is super nice. I've been getting a lot of compliments lately when I'm at gas stations or when I'm washing my truck. This thing is just badass, guys. I really like how it turned out, the wheels and tires. It's got a stance on it. I got my windows all tinted out. I did have the windshield tinted, but then I got a big rock chip in it, so I went and had the windshield replaced. But check that out, just really nice truck. I did a bunch of stuff to it. My twin brother, Hunter, helped me too. He helped me with a bunch of stuff on the truck. But there is this 360 walk through the truck. Hopefully you guys can see it pretty good. But there we go. So right now I'm gonna be getting into detail about the wheels and tires. Check those out, guys. If you guys can see those right there, those are Anthem Off-Road Avengers. They're the 20 by 12s and they just look super nice. I really like how they look. I got them in the mail. I teamed up with Anthem and they hooked me up with some pretty cool deals. So make sure to go check out Anthem Off-Road. I'm gonna leave some links to their wheels below in the description of this video. So make sure to go check them out. And also on the truck, I got 35 by 1250 Mickey Thompsons and those look really nice. My brother and my other buddy told me about these and I really like how they look on the truck. They ride super nice and they're not loud either when you're driving. Check out that tire. That thing is mean looking. I really like how they turned out on the truck. I'm gonna go up to this one real quick. Check that out. So those are the wheels and tires that I have on the truck. They look super nice. I also have the topper on my truck. A lot of people don't like the topper. They've been telling me to take it off, but 
I just really like the topper. I have all my social media platforms on there. Um, Snapchat, YouTube, Instagram, and just, I really like it. I get to put all my stuff in the back, all my rods, tackle, and nothing gets dirty. It all stays dry when it's raining. So I really like the topper on it. It just makes the truck look super nice. But like I said, all the windows are tinted. I got tow mirrors on the truck. They're all blacked out right here. Got the blacked out lens. I'm gonna go to the other side real quick and show you. But also, there's the back view of the truck. You can see how far my wheels and tires stick out of the truck. So, when I'm turning guys, they rub pretty good. So I have to make sure um, that I don't turn too sharp because it'll mess up my front bumper. But I've been getting pretty used to it. There's the other tow mirror. Looks pretty nice. Like I said, it's all blacked out right here. If you guys can see that, got the blacked out lens. And then the other day, actually, me and my brother, we went and bought some bed liner, guys. And I'm gonna show you quickly. We bed lined everything under the truck and it just looks brand new, guys. Everything under the truck, I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick this up, but check out the bottom. That whole back end is all bedlined. It looks super nice. All the um, other parts, the front parts and the back parts of the whole truck. I don't know 100% everything about them, but they all look super nice. Check out these right here. They look super nice, guys. I'm gonna go to the front real quick and show you the front view. If you guys can see that, it's all blacked out with bed liner. So that's gonna stay super nice for like probably two years, I think it said, on the can. But we just brushed that on. And then also on the front hood, I went and bought some custom lettering. I put extreme on the hood, so that looks pretty cool. My brother, my twin brother actually did that. He hooked me up, extreme. Check that out, it looks super cool. Looks pretty cool, it almost looks like a Duramax when I got those on there. But then my brother also came up with the idea of putting blacked out headlights. So that really turned out super nice. I like the blacked out headlights. I wouldn't even have known to get those. My brother didn't say that. But they turned out super nice, guys. I really like the way they look. So next up, I'm gonna be talking about the lift kit that I got on the truck. And the truck sits pretty high. It's the biggest lift kit that I've ever had on a truck. My last truck, the red one, it had a six inch lift. And I got a seven and a half inch lift on this. And it sits pretty high, guys, not super high. It's like the perfect height for me. I think my brother has like a eight or 10 inch lift on his truck and that looks really good but I really like how this looks and it tows the boat good when I'm going down the road. Um, like I said, it's a seven and a half inch rough country suspension lift kit and it looks really nice, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it super good under the truck. I'm gonna try to show you real quickly if you can see the lift kit, but I don't know 100% if you're gonna be able to see it under there where it says rough country right there but it turned out super nice on the truck all that stuff is a part of the lift kit i don't really know a hundred percent everything about it but i just wanted to talk a little bit about the lift kit it turned out super nice guys the way the truck looks it just looks really good i'm going to show you some other things that i did to it um, i'll show you the interior real quick too it's just all leather interior. Looks pretty nice. But here is my underglow. I don't know if it'll, it'll light up that good right now. But I, it, me and my brother installed this probably like earlier this year. You just click whatever color you want and it'll turn on. We have lights right there and lights right there, two lights in every wheel well. So it looks pretty nice, got it on that. And also the back. 
if you see that. I got it on both sides. So when I'm driving up to the boat launch, I can turn these on at night and it just is super bright guys you can't tell how bright it is right now due to the fact that it's like midday but they're pretty bright check it out you can change any color i'll change it to purple red blue it's got all different colors and you can even change it to strobe where it'll go over all the colors so that looks pretty cool when i'm just chilling at a gas station or something I can just turn on strobe and it'll my lights will just go crazy so that's pretty cool or I can just ride around town with white on so that looks pretty cool but I'm gonna turn those off real quick and put the controller back in here so I don't lose it but my truck is pretty nice guys make sure to drop a comment below what you guys think of it I try to keep it as clean as possible I got my drone back there and a bunch of hats up here everything that I film with in this bag but I try to keep it pretty clean as you guys can tell I got a bunch of shirts back here just for when I'm traveling making videos making sure I have enough clothes to wear but everything on the truck looks super nice guys let me know what you think well guys I just finished up going over the whole entire truck like I said, it's a 2013 GMC Sierra 1500, and it is a badass truck, guys. So make sure to drop a comment below what you guys thought of today's video, what you guys liked about the truck, or what you would have done different building this truck. Make sure to drop a comment, and I'm going to be picking a comment for a shout-out for my next video. So make sure to go drop a comment, like I said. And I really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out today's video. I got a lot of videos posting lately, so make sure you go check out some other videos. And also be watching for me on the road or any boat ramp or anything. If you see me, make sure to come say hi and I'll give you an extreme outdoors and decal. Or if I have any hats, I'll give you a hat or shirt. But make sure to come say hi, guys. I love when my followers or subscribers come say hi. I would just really appreciate it. But make sure to stay tuned for more videos, guys, and we will see you in the next one. Stay tuned, guys.